Hi there and welcome to Penguin Learning. In this National Four Maths lesson, I'll be teaching you about expressions. After this lesson, you will know the difference between an expression and an equation. You will know how to simplify an expression using things like bod mass, which we covered in our last lesson on equations, and plus how to properly collect terms when simplifying an expression. And then also, as always, we'll go over a few examples to give you some experience in solving questions involving expressions. So, let's get started. Ooh la la! So, we said on our lesson on equations that an equation is something that equates one thing to another, saying that this thing and this thing are equal. And often on equations, on one side of it, we have the side that contains a variable such as x and also numbers. And on the other side of the equation, the right hand side, we may have something else as well that this thing is equal to. But in algebra, let's say we just have this by itself. We have this thing here that contains the variable plus other numbers. If this isn't equal to anything, unlike this up here, we call this by itself an expression. So the three main characteristics of an expression is that number one, they contain a variable. In this case, the variable is x. Number two, they contain numbers. As we can see here, there's a four before the x, which is four times x. And we also have a plus two in this specific expression. And also number three, it doesn't equal anything. If we had, let's say for example, an equal sign like up the top here, that would transform this expression into an equation. So an expression is just something that stands by itself and doesn't equal anything. So one of the main differences between an expression and an equation is that we cannot solve an expression, but we can solve an equation. And this is because an equation has an equal sign and therefore we can equate it to something we can solve for the variable but an expression doesn't equal to anything it's just a statement by itself and therefore we cannot solve it but one thing we can do is if you're given a complex expression we can simplify it we can collect terms and we can make it seem shorter than it originally was given to us we can rearrange it and fix it in a way that will allow us to have a simpler expression Let's take this expression here as an example. The expression reads 3x plus 2x. And when we have an expression like this, we can imagine x to be anything we want. So let's imagine our little penguin friends are out hunting and what they come across are slices of pizza. So we're going to imagine x in this case as a slice of pizza. And we can see here for three, three lots of this, we have one, two, three slices up here. And then we also have two other slices down here. Now if x represents a slice of the pizza, we're adding the three slices to another two slices, and then it's just a case of adding the three and two together, and that is equal to five slices. In other words, three x plus two x is equal to five x. So if the variable is the same, we can just add the numbers before them, like we would adding three plus two. Three x plus two x can be equal to five x. Okay, let's have a little icebreaker into looking how to simplify an expression. So this one, we've been given an expression that reads 3x plus y plus 2x plus 2y, and our job is to simplify this. So what do you think we do first? Well, first thing I would like you to notice is that this time we don't only have x in this expression like we do here, we also have y's as well. So that means we have two variables. We have x and a y in this expression. And just like in the last example, we said that we could assign x to mean anything. So we're going to stick with pizza. And y this time has to be something different. And we're going to just call that hot dogs. And basically what that means is we can only add pizza to pizza. And we can only add hot dogs to hot dogs. So what we're going to do, we're going to go through this expression and count how many x's and y's pizzas and hot dogs that we can collect. So looking at this first term here, 3x, that would mean that we have three slices of pizza representing this. And then the next term, we just have a single y by itself. And if we have a single y, that just means that there's only one y. So that would mean in this case, we have one hot dog. And then again, for this 2x here, we have another two slices of pizza. And then finally, another 2y, that is just 
to hot dogs. Now the reason that I wanted to illustrate it like this is because if we want to simplify it, that means that we have to collect each of the groups together and see how many that we're left with. So for example, in this full thing here, we can count that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 slices of pizza and that we have 1, 2, 3 hot dogs because we're adding them all together. So basically the rule is that we can only add or take away pizzas from pizzas and the same with hot dogs to hot dogs. So what I'm going to do now is add these together and simplify the expression. So I've collected each of the bits of pizza together and each of the hot dogs together and because we know that each slice of pizza equals an x and each hot dog equals y, we can write this then as 5x plus 3y. So if we look back up the top here, we can see that we have 1y and we've just added it to this other y. So if we have 1 plus the 2, that gets us the 3y. And with the x's, we have 3 plus 2, and that gives us the 5. So I hope this illustration of collecting the food made it a little bit easier to visualise and understand what we are doing in simplifying an expression. So let's look at this question now. We've been asked to simplify the expression of 5x plus 2y minus 3x minus 3y. So again, the first thing that we want to do is look at the variables, what we've got, and count how many. So here we have an x, we have a y, we have an x, and we have a y. So we only have x and y, so that means we have two variables. And now what we want to do is group the terms together that have the same variable. So we know that this term and this term contain the x value, and this one and this one have y variable in them. And then what we want to do is add or subtract each of these variables together so that we can have a simplified expression. So let's begin with the x's. So for the x variable we have a 5x in the expression and also a minus 3x. And if we have 5 of x and we're taking away 3 of them, that means we're doing 5 minus 3 which means we're left with 2x. And now let's do the same thing for y. So in the expression we have a 2y and we also have a minus 3y. So that means we started off with 2 and we are taking away 3. So if it's 2 minus 3 that means we're going to have a negative value of y and that's going to be equal to minus 1y. But if we have minus 1 of y we can also just write that as minus y because if we just write minus y by itself that means that it's only minus one of them and the same can be said with plus y so we can also say if we have one y for example one y is just the same as writing y it's the exact same thing so in this case here if we have minus one y we can just write that as minus y so that means that in expression we have a 2x and we also have a minus y so therefore our expression can be simply wrote as 2x minus y and that is the simplified form of this expression up here. So what we've done was we collected the terms for the x values and we collected the terms for the y values and then we put these two together and that gave us this expression. So now we're going to have a look at this example and this is a bit more complex from what we did before. So this time we've been asked to simplify the expression which we have a 4 and then we have a set of brackets and inside the brackets we have 3x plus 2y minus x. Now on our lesson on equations we learned how to multiply out the brackets and the way we did that was we multiply everything inside the bracket by the number that's directly outside it. So in this case we would multiply everything in this bracket by 4. But before we do that what I'm going to do first is simplify what's inside the bracket and then afterwards we can multiply everything in the bracket by 4. So let's begin. Again inside the bracket we have x's and y's so that means we have two variables inside the bracket and what I'm going to do now is collect the terms which have the same variable. So we have 4 and then inside the brackets we have a 3x and also a minus x so I'm just going to write both of them together so we can see that a little bit better. So we have the 3x 
minus x and then we also have a 2y. So that means that we can write this as, well 3x take away 1x means that we have 2x inside the bracket and then we also have 2y because we only have the one term with the y inside the bracket so that just stays the same. So that means what's in the bracket here can be transformed into this here just by simply taking this x away from the 3x. 3x minus x gives us this 2x right here. And now what we want to do is get rid of the brackets and as I said the way we do that is multiply everything inside the bracket by the number here 4. So that means that we're going to multiply 2x by 4 and then also 2y by 4. So that would mean that 2x times 4 is the same as saying we're going to have 4 lots of 2x and that's just simply 4 times 2 which gives us 8x and the same can be said for y. So if we have 4 lots multiplied by 2y that's going to be 4 times 2 which gives us 8y. Now let's look at this one. Again, being asked to simplify the expression and it reads 5 then a set of brackets, x minus 3y, then plus 5x at the end. So what do we want to do? Well first to simplify, what I would always do is look inside the brackets and see if we can simplify this at all. But inside we only have x minus 3y and we know that there's no terms that are similar. This is as simple as it can get within the bracket. So that means we cannot simplify this part any further. So then what we want to look at now is bod mass, what we learned in our lesson on equations, and see what we have to do first. So looking at bod mass, we know that the first thing that we have to consider are brackets, and here we have a set of brackets here, so that's what we're going to get rid of first. So that means that what we're going to do is multiply everything inside the bracket by 5, so x multiplied by 5, and then this minus 3y multiplied by 5, so that would look like this. So 5 multiplied by x is 5 times x, so that's just 5x. And 5 multiplied by minus 3y, so we're going to write that out. So we're going to have minus 3y multiplied by 5, because that's just this multiplied by this. And then at the end, we have 5x. Now since we've completed the brackets in bond mass, we have to look at order. We don't have any square or square root values, so we can forget about that. And then we have division and multiplication. And what we have here is a multiplication of minus 3y times 5. So that's what we're going to do next. So we can say that 5x and then minus 3y times 5. Well, what we can do then is just think of minus 3 multiplied by 5 and minus 3 multiplied by 5. But well, we know 3 times 5 is 15. So that means if we have a negative sign in there, it's going to be minus 15, and that's going to be minus 15y. And then at the end here again, we have plus 5x. And then the last thing that we want to do when simplifying an expression is look at the addition and subtractions within the expression. So now we can see that we have a 5x over here and also a 5x over here as well. So that means that we can add both of these 5x's together and 5x plus 5x is the same as saying 5 plus 5 and that is 10x and then we're left with this 15y. So remember bod mass stands for brackets, order which means square or square root values, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. If we follow this order beginning from the start down to the bottom then that's the order that we can use to simplify an expression. So let's look at one more example. This final example asked again to simplify the expression and this time we have two sets of brackets here. So the expression is 4 multiplied by these brackets of x plus y plus 3 brackets x minus y. So how do we begin trying to simplify this? Well again we know that the first thing that we look for is brackets and we can see here we have two sets of brackets so that's the first thing that we're going to try and solve. So the first one is going to be 4 times x plus 4 times y. So that can be written as 4x plus 4y because we've multiplied 4 by everything inside these brackets, so x and y. And now for the second bracket we have 3 multiplied by everything inside this one, so 3 multiplied by x and then 3 multiplied by this minus y over here. So that would look like 3 multiplied by x is just 3x 
and 3 multiplied by minus y is going to give us a minus 3y. And then moving down, we don't have anything of order, we don't have any division or multiplications, all we have is addition and subtractions. And what we want to look for now, as we did before, are the terms which have the same variables. So we only have x's and y's, so we're going to collect them together and finalise this question. So we have a 4x and we also have a plus 3x and we also have a plus 4y and minus 3y. So it's now our job to collect these together. So let's begin with the x's first. So 4x plus 3x is the same as saying 4 plus 3 which gives us 7x and then for the y's we have 4y minus 3y which again gives us 1y or we can just write as y. So then finally we want to collect this together so we have the 7x and this y by itself so that means our expression can be simplified as 7x plus y. So let's have a quick recap on this lesson on expressions. So we now know that an expression is a combination of variables such as x and y and any numbers. And unlike an equation which can be solved because it's equated to something from the equal sign, an expression can't be solved but it can be simplified. And the way we do this to simplify is begin by using bod mass. So we ask ourselves, does the expression first of all have brackets? Any square or square root values? Can things be divided or multiplied? And then finally, can things be added or subtracted together? And then finally, what we can do is collect terms with the same variables. And that means that if we have an x plus a 2x, we can collect both of them together because they have the same variable of x and that would equal 3x, but if we have, let's say, x plus 2y, because they are different variables of x and y, we cannot add them together. And once we've done all of this, then the expression should be in its simplest form and the question would be complete. I hope this video on expressions has been helpful to you and your National 4 learning, and if that's been the case, make sure and give us a like on the video. And again, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, be sure to drop them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you'd like to learn more National 4 content, be sure to subscribe to the channel Penguin Learning. And if you'd like similar content, you can check out penguin-learning.com to improve your learning and anything related to help you pass an exam. Once again, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.